what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War, Export 12 team. So, being this deep into the Kingdom Pass, I decided to showcase a team with Bork 3000. Now this troop right here, I spoke about it in the previous video, um, a pretty good troop. Reason being, Bork is a mech beast, right, with a 12 mana cost. So his mana color is brown and, and yellow, and 12 mana cost is very low for a generator troop. So I think he, there are a number of different teams that you can actually put together with Bork 3000. His spell is simply Metal Beak. He will destroy 58 gems in my case because of my magic level. And of course, he gains 20% to all skills this week. And along with that, he will, dis he will actually create three bomb gems. His traits are Unstable Core, which is that standard trait of creating three bomb gems when I die, reinforce, recover one armor at the start of each turn, and armored, reduce damage from skulls by 25%. I'm using Bork with undoubtedly the most powerful AoE damaging troop in the game. It is Tesla. Tesla will be dealing damage with her overload spell in which she will deal eight true scatter damage uh, boosted by all ally and enemy armor. Along with that, her traits are Mech Bond, allied mechs gain two life, uh, Invention, gain two armor on four or five gem matches, and Overclock. She will give two attack and armor to all mech allies when matching four or more gems. I'm using it along with Tink Steam Whistle. This troop right here is available from the Tinkertown faction, which is associated with the Adana Kingdom. It is a mech uh, dwarf, and he has a 16 mana cost of brown and yellow. His spell is uh, Dwarven Ingenuity, right? It will give 68 armor and life to all allies, boosted by red gems. And along with that, it will summon 1 to 3 Tinkertown bots. Of course, its traits are Deep Vitality. Gain 9 life when attacking Delves, Fortitude, Immune to Stun, Poison, Disease, Death to Mark, Lycanthropy, and Devour, and Flux Capacitor. It will conjure an Electro Storm when my turn begins. An Electro Storm is a yellow and red storm, and that's going to be very synergenic with Bork 3000 along with Tesla. Um, Tesla uses red mana, and Bork uses yellow mana. Leprechaun is going to be here for a fast start on the team. And after I completed a couple explore runs, I'm going to show you guys what hero class you can use, and of course, what weapons you could possibly put on the team. So yeah, let's go into battle number one in Adana. The troops here have bonuses this week, so this is a good place to test out a Tesla and Bork 3000 team. All right, let's explode some gems. Now let's see if we can get our Bork ready to go. There he is. Tesla is ready to go as well. Now let's cast this. Hit him up. Good damage right there. Now Bork. Now Tesla again. Super easy. This is Explorer 12. And I think I'm only using my Nysha medals here. Let's check. Yep, I'm using all my Nysha medals. And the troops are killing. Now that Flux Capacitor trait for, um, for Tink is actually very useful on a team like this. So I'm getting a lot of the gems I need so as to be able to get spell ready and kill out the enemy troops. There we go. And let me tell you, this is working amazing. It works really great here in this kingdom because, of course, they're gaining additional stats this week. And I think it will work really well in every other kingdom, every other week, that's going to be gaining additional stats. Um, I've been using it mostly in Wild Plains because there, there aren't any troops there that have a significant amount of... Um, of spell damage reduction so you really want to use it in kingdoms like those in which you won't have to cast your tesla more than twice so as to kill them out of course here on the final fight which you might find the mythic troop of tina 9000 and that troop i think has about a 50 percent spell damage reduction so in that case you might need to cast your tesla maybe twice um and i should say as well players that might have a lower damage level, a lower uh, armor level, I should say, on their troops like Bork and Tesla and Tink and Leprechaun, you might want to cast your Tink Steam Whistle maybe once um, when you get him spell ready off of your Bork cast. So you get Bork, for example, up right now. Let's match this. See if I can get Bork powered up. And we might die here because that, that troop right there has a very powerful spell. There we go. 
If you want to, you can actually go ahead and see and cast this. You're going to give armor, making your spells much stronger from your Tesla. There we go. Very powerful team this is. Very, very powerful team. Of course, if you guys want to, you can always take off Tink's Team Whistle and put on anything else that could possibly give um, armor to your allies, or if not, just put on something else to power up the team. So, for example, let's put on an Adana weapon. Adana, how about a drill shooter? This is a good option. Put it in the option of, of Tink. And now you're going to be giving your Bork 3000 a 50% start off of the Mechanist Hero class. This is an option for you guys if indeed um, you want to level classes, you want to level Mechanist as well. And other classes I would recommend for this team, you might want to put on a 50% mana start class, like for example, uh, Plague Lord or Shaman would be a great class because Shaman has a 50% start and it has a yellow storm which gonna which is gonna power up your Borg 3000 much faster because you have those yellow gems falling on the board and possibly it cascades and give you some four plus gem matches if you want as well you can use your storm caller hero class this has a uh not a 50 percent star but it has a constant yellow storm and of course that's lightning strike so there's a great chance that you get a lot of yellow falling on the board you power up your Borg, you cast it power up your tesla and you just keep on doing that to kill out the enemies um if you want to as well, you could probably use Tide Caller, and of course you can use Titan. Titan has a Brown Storm, and of course Borg 3000 uses Brown, so indeed you could possibly get some Gem Cascades and get your Bork powered up. And the list goes on. There are a number of different classes you could possibly use, because the 12 mana cost off of a Leprechaun, Leprechaun cast isn't hard to get Bork spell ready. It's pretty easy. Alright, so let's hop into another fight here, and let's see how this works out. We're at the mini boss fight. And I'm not using a complete Adana team. I'm just using Leprechaun as my fast generator here. I'm going to be using Bork to generate mana. There we go. Got mana. Tesla. Bork again. Tesla's powered up. And let's kill him. That's how easy it is. Because my armor level is really high, um, I don't need to cast a secondary um, buffer on the team. Like Tink's team with maybe like, maybe a hero weapon that can buff up my Tesla and my, my entire team. Rather, I just need to cast Tesla twice and the enemies will be killed out. All right, let's, let's hop into the Mythic boss fight and see how this one works out. All right, now let's explode. Got Bork spell ready. There we go. Now let's cast Tesla. And now let's cast Bork again. Tesla's powered up. Now let's kill him. Yup. That's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. Uh, Bork and Tesla, I, I can say, it's a very good combination. There's so many other options that you could possibly go with this team. Let's see what's inside the chest. Two Arrhenius. Nothing great, but we'll still take it. But yeah, guys, we went over this team on live stream, and I really like it. So I decided, why not put out a video covering this particular team setup right here. So let's go back over it again. We have Bork up front. Bork 3000, destroying gems, followed by Tesla, followed by whatever you want to put in the, in the third slot here. I went with Tink's Team Whistle because I'm not working on classes anymore. I have all my classes leveled, um, so I don't have to worry about classes. Um, but if you guys want, you can switch it out with the hero and put in whatever you prefer. But I tend to like to use Tink's Team Whistle in the team because of his final trait, that Flux Capacitor, con conjuring an Electro Storm, which is a red and yellow storm. And of course, Leprechaun is here for fast mana. If you guys actually like this team, found this useful, definitely hit the like button. Comment to let me know what you guys think. Share this with your guildmates. Uh, anyone you know, plays Gems of War, tell them to come on over and check out the channel. All right, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.